Ah, oh, he's all What? Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Dean Hype. Come back to you guys with a brand new video. And I hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, what you guys are going to be seeing is we have some information on Modern Warfare that, in my opinion, is probably groundbreaking whenever it comes to just Modern Warfare in general. We have Battle Royale coming to the Call of Duty scene and mo inside of Modern Warfare. Now, I do know a lot of people have already covered this, but I have not yet done so, and I want to actually kind of just sit down and talk about it and kind of give my opinion and just cover the information regarding it all. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing here in this video. Now, I do have two links down in the description with information-wise in there. So if you guys want to read anything down there, you guys can do so. I'm going to be basing a lot of the information that I talk about from those articles. So if you guys want to kind of see everything I'm talking about firsthand, you guys click the links down there where it says info. So feel free to do so. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this. So if you guys do go on to enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. And also, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell so you guys can stay notified every single time I do post. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump straight on into things. Now, one thing I do want to point out is if you guys did not see on Twitter, the guy, um, Gaming Revolution, the Gaming Revolution, if you guys do know him, he actually got his Twitter suspended for how much information he did talk about and how much he was actually, or I guess you could say, leaking. So I'm going to be kind of careful with what I post whenever it comes to information wise because he went off the deep end he was getting a lot of just like leaked news and just stuff that he wasn't even supposed to talk about yet he was supposed to wait a little bit and he was just throwing it out there for us to see so just, let's just go ahead and jump into it now so start off it says here now with the launch of modern warfare season 2 as you guys would have seen at the very beginning of i guess you could say the trailer whenever you guys gone into season 2 you guys saw a little bit of a trailer and i put it at the beginning of the Modern Warfare video that I posted whenever I was unlocking the Battle Pass. I did put it at the beginning of there just to kind of showcase it to you guys. I knew what it was. I didn't want to really say anything about it just then. And basically, it showcased a whole bunch of soldiers talking about the gas is going to kill them if we don't. And then it was, I guess you could say, Captain Price or Ghost was coming down and talking about all the players just going after each other it was it, it was literally just like a leak of battle rail so we kind of knew it was coming and also if you guys do look at the main menu of modern warfare now it does say classified and if you guys do remember we were supposed to get a classified game mode inside of modern warfare and lo and behold it is going to be battle rail now moving on here it does say since the release of modern warfare back in october a slew of leaks and speculation and rumors appeal to hint that infinity ward would eventually get the, to the battle rail scene and at some point it would be coming out now on february 11th following the release of the massive 1.14 update or season 2 a few things were added to the game that further hinted at a forthcoming battle rail mode now it says here like i said the main menu which previously featured four options which were campaign multiplayer spec ops and the store now shows a fifth category which is called classified now, while that on its own doesn't mean anything in terms of Battle Royale, there was also an in-game trailer that added that it actually does seem to tease that it is going to be Battle Royale. Now, as we kind of move on to the rest of everything, it says here the first look at possible Battle Royale inside of Modern Warfare. As I said with the trailer, it does show in the first half of the scene, the camera zooms out to reveal a shattered airplane what seems to be the iconic terminal map from modern warfare 2 however in this video the airport is actually part of a larger scale area which could very well be our first official look at the battle rail map so basically what they're saying is it's probably going to be like a speculation of they're probably just going to be combining a whole bunch of maps as all battle rail maps kind of do with call of duty black ops 4 and blackout they did have to combine a bunch of different or favorite maps and just make them all into one map that we were all going to, I guess you could say, enjoy. And that is exactly what Modern Warfare is going to have to do as well. Now it says here, then the real teaser kicks in showing a massive military style airplane soaring above the area. And out of it, players are dropping down and deploying their own personal parachutes. 
The whole thing has a very Battle Royale Esque feel to it. And it's hard to think of anything else that the trailer could be, especially since the Battle Royale has been a topic of many leaks and discussions. So, as you guys can see, it, it just all kind of points to Battle Royale. If it's not Battle Royale, it kind of comes to the question of what could it even be then? Because every single thing that it is you have seen, it looks like Battle Royale. Now, moving on here, it says here, what we know so far about Modern Warfare Battle Royale is... If the footage above, or as you guys have seen already, says it does turn out to be Modern Warfare Battle Royale, then it wouldn't be the first time we've seen or we've been given a glimpse of it. Back in November, a COD leaker released a massive post on Reddit that he claimed were details about the unreleased mode, which included an overhead view of the possible map. Now, that's no denying that this was shown in a cinematic does resemble this leaked image at least when it comes to the overall color scheme and tone of the area so basically all this information was kind of in a way already talked about we already knew that it was going to be coming to the game we just weren't really sure when and how it was going to look now like i said a little bit ago with terminal being with one of the maps inside of battle royale it does say here terminal was leaked as one of the classic cod maps that could be added as a possible location and the fact that the cinematic above included the iconic airport setting further suggests that the data minded information could possibly be correct. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump now over to the second article. So, if you guys are kind of like reading along as I'm reading it, I'm now moving over to the second article. It does say here since Modern Warfare first released back in October, like I said, it's just been like a big guru of everybody wanted to know what exactly is this game going to be known for now the name of this battle royale has actually been announced like i said with the game of revolution and his twitter being banned or i guess you could say just suspended for now i guess he ended up releasing information that wasn't even supposed to be released he released information regarding the actual name of the game mode which wasn't supposed to be talked about wasn't supposed to be announced wasn't supposed to have anything to do with the public for a while. And he went ahead and just jump shipped and let it be. It says here that according to the leaked image, this mode is going to be called Warzone. That is right. It's going to be called Warzone. That is the name. It's been confirmed. And it says here now we have, or what's claimed to be the actual in-game footage of Battle Royale in our hands. As you guys saw by the original trailer. Now, it says here, well-known COD and YouTuber Gamer Revolution published a new video on February 13th containing alleged gameplay from what he says is the training zone within the mode. Now, like I said, with him being banned or either suspended, he actually had got that video taken down from what I do know of. I am actually looking real quick just to see if it is there. And it says here, this tweet is, it's a, it's from a suspended account, so it is no longer even there so you're never going to be able to find it a bunch of people have already seen it a bunch of people have probably already taken it and used it in their videos i did not get it at the time whenever he got his account suspended i never even saw it but it does say here modern warfare battle royale plunder and drop kits are going to be one of the things inside of the game it says here in the video the game revolution explains that plunder is the currency system used inside of warzone it says here it's essentially just cash that you find looting around the map killing enemies and completing contracts now i don't really know exactly how that would work in a way because i see it as inside of battle royale usually it's always been you run around the map you're trying to pick up weapons you're trying to get the best weapons you possibly can find some ammo find some shield or maybe an armor anything like that i'm guessing with modern warfare they're going to make it be like a armor style of protection and then you kind of go from there but moving on, it says here, plunder can be used to purchase a variety of things. Two or more different or two or more important items being drop kits and equipment. Drop kits are apparently very similar to the creative class loadouts used inside of multiplayer. So the way it sounds is almost like with the plunders, it's going to be kind of like a vending machine from Fortnite. Almost you guys can go and just use these currencies, kind of like materials, and just use that to purchase the weapon or protection that you guys need. 
So it kind of sounds cool in a way, but I don't really know if that's going to be exactly how it works. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll kind of have to wait and see with that. Drop kits seem a little bit like, kind of like um, just a, a normal supply drop coming into the map. It doesn't seem like anything crazy. Just like a simple supply drop coming into the map, it's going to have just a simple create a class already made for you. So it's like either take it or you don't get it at all. Now, it says here, however, players don't automatically spawn into the game with them. Instead, you have to purchase a drop kit marker that drops a larger crate from which you can choose from one of the classes you had made prior to the match. So it looks like it's going to be you guys can create a class before the game even starts. And then whenever you guys go in there, you guys can get, say, a supply drop. And it's going to come down as a drop kit. And that is going to be your weapon now that you guys can actually use for the entirety of the game if you survive now moving on here with the equipment it says the other important category of items that can be purchased with plunder is equipment which can be obtained by visiting the various supply shops or supply stations on the map now several different types of equipment are available which are ranging from armor to extra ammo kill streaks and as mentioned in the section above drop kit markers now, it says here, armor plate bundle is going to cost $1,500, gas mask costs $3,000, precision airstrike is $3,000, shield turret, which is $3,000, cluster strike is $3,500, UAV, $4,000, munitions box, $5,000, and then a drop kit marker is $6,000. Now, I don't know about you guys, but you're probably looking at that and you're saying, there's no way I'm going to be able to get any of that. Relax. From the way it looks from the picture, the person playing had $24,000 at that time. And I'm pretty sure if they have the time to go and actually purchase this stuff, I'm going to guess you guys can probably pick up like $1,000 to $2,000 just like one at a time. And you guys could probably get that twenty, twenty something thousand, maybe $100,000 over the game. It all depends like on how do you use the money for what you need, whether it's a shield turn. Maybe cluster strike, maybe a drop kit, maybe you want a gas mask. It all depends on what you guys need at that time. Now, next up, Modern Warfare Armistice Training Facility. Since your gameplay footage in the video that was actually suspended, features the Armistice Training Facility, which players are being able to access early due to some glitches in the game. Now, the purpose of this part of the mode, as the name suggests, is to give players the area or an area where they can familiarize themselves with different aspects mechanics and features of the battle rail so kind of like a creative mode kind of like how Modern War or how fortnite has their creative mode it's just like a little mode where if you guys want to just practice you guys can go in there have fun and get to know the game mode now at the time of writing there isn't any de or definitive information about when this warzone battle rail will be released all we can do at this point is just kind of sit back relax see what infinite award does and activision of course and just see kind of what they release as always they will release information as they can if there's information that they don't really want to talk about at the time they won't but whenever they are ready they will let us know and they will have the game mode out for us to play and whatever does come out i will make sure to get a video of me playing the battle rail i don't know how much i will play of it but i will play the game mode and just kind of try it out and make a video for you guys but other than that, that's all I got for you guys here in today's video. Hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys do drop a big fat like. And also if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell so you guys can stay notified every single time I do post. If you guys want to rep the Hype Nation merch, link to my merch store is down there in the description. So feel free to rep the Hype Nation brand. And also if you guys want to follow me on any of my social medias, links to everything are down there in the description. So feel free do follow me if you please. But without further ado, guys, it's been your boy Dean Hype. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.